What's up YouTube, AJ here from The Art of Charm, and today I'm gonna give you three of the biggest mistakes you can make when buying a car. When it comes to buying a car, there are three big mistakes that you can make that are gonna hurt you socially. Now, with our clients and boot camp here at The Art of Charm, we've noticed a few things that they do when it comes to cars that sets them back socially. And I wanna help you avoid those things. Now the first and the biggest is buying a car thinking you will impress others. You know, getting a fancy car and then thinking that if you just talk about it, people will like you, women will find you attractive. Guess what? It doesn't work that way. That external validation does not make you more interesting does not help your first impression, and certainly doesn't get women more impressed by you. In fact, back in the day, I had a friend who went so far as to buy a car that he knew would impress the boyfriends of girls that he was hoping to impress. Thinking that if he got this fancy BMW that he knew all these guys liked, they would talk about the car in front of the girls that he was actually after. Guess what? That's a huge mistake. If you think that talking about your car when you meet people is gonna impress them, is gonna make them think you're more successful or more interesting, that is a fallacy. People are paying more attention to your first impression non-verbally than they are verbally. So we wanna fix that body language to make a great first impression, not rely on external things, especially like an expensive car. The second thing that we see a lot of guys do when it comes to buying a new car, they end up putting it all over social media. It becomes their profile photo, it's every post on Instagram. Again, they think people are gonna be impressed, so I gotta show off this car. Sometimes they even name it and talk about it in the third person. Guess what? That turns people off. It's not interesting, it doesn't make you appear cooler, and it's certainly not gonna help you socially. You wanna make sure that your social media profile actually showcases you and not your external possessions like a fancy car. Now the third biggest mistake we see guys make all the time when it comes to buying a car is they overspend. They get a fancy car that they can barely afford and then they don't have any money left over to socialize, to go out, to meet people, to travel, to go to conferences, to start a side hustle. Instead, they spent all of that money on a car hoping people would like them and they left themselves no budget to actually enjoy their lives and certainly not to socialize. So overspending on a car that you can't afford is a huge mistake, especially if you wanna be social and you wanna meet new people. If you wanna work on your first impression, check out our playlist. We have a great playlist with tons of tips on your first impression. And remember that nonverbal communication goes a lot further than any external possession you have, and certainly a fancy car is not going to impress people. If you like this video, subscribe, click the notifications, and we'll see you next week.